Shark encounters near our shores have researchers studying their behavior and what is drawing them back to certain spots on an annual basis. News Channel reporter John Palminteri has the latest video above and below the surface. And the larger one, the more dominant one you could see in that video, took charge. It was a raw look at nature in nearshore waters off Carpinteria's Padero Beach. A great white shark with others nearby eating this dead dolphin last Sunday afternoon. Seeing the sharks is no longer that unusual at this spot. The smallest we've seen are five feet. And they're generally six to eight feet. These larger ones being 10 feet are still considered juveniles. Videographer and documentary producer Harry Rabin with Reef Guardians is here regularly working with his team and scientists, including the Cal State Long Beach Shark Lab. He says these sharks are very territorial. They like to pick out an area where they know their prey is and anything that comes into that area becomes a threat. So they'll nudge you or they'll bite you like they did in the case of that one woman who was out here swimming. This happened to an ocean swimmer in May when she went beyond the breakers with the rays. She was lucky it wasn't a full on shark bite. Because this has become a popular place for sharks doesn't mean you can't go on the water. If you want to have a safe day at the beach, we're told, just stay close to the shoreline and don't swim out too far beyond the surf line. Rabin recently was placing a camera in the shallow waters. And bam, a great white over 10 feet right in front of my face. Reef Guardians routinely educates the public about sharks around here. We find most of these younger people are in it because of the environment. They appreciate nature. Oh my God. Up the coast in Goleta last week, a different shark encounter by two pier fishermen. He had the thresher on the hook and the other guy had the mako that broke loose from his leader off of his fishing pole, moved 30 yards over and took out that thresher shark. That was just a rare sight. And when it comes to rare, look at this flying breach a few weeks ago, again off Carpinteria. Their DNA drives them. That's when they're going to graduate from bat rays to coming up from the bottom and taking out bigger prey. So it was fantastic to witness that sight and to be able to capture it and share it with everyone. In Carpinteria, I'm News Channel reporter John Palmentary. Well, it wasn't much.